Hello my dear students from second grade, how are you all? I hope that you are doing really, really well. And well, today we have a new topic that we are going to work and this is present continuous in English. And before we start with this topic, let me remind you the objective for the week and it is developing the skill of reading comprehension through stories about family. Okay, let's go guys, press and continuous tense. So what is this about? There is a very important question to start introducing this topic and it is, what are you doing? What are you doing? As you can see with this question, we are going to answer many things, many activities that can be included in this only one question what are you doing so let's see what are you doing remember that the present continuous uh, has to be used in this way when we talk about actions happening now so it says we use the present continuous to talk about actions happening now right now at the moment usamos el presente continuo para decir una acción que está pasando ahora mismo que está sucediendo ahora mismo for example as you can see in this picture uh, we have alice okay and then we have this example at the moment alice is riding her bike en este momento alice está manejando su bicicleta vale Here you can see other examples. What are they doing? Okay, so as you can see in the picture, every uh, of these characters are doing something different. Okay, he is jumping. Él está saltando. They are dancing. It is singing. They are drinking. He is sleeping, he is running, he is eating, she is reading, he is painting. We have other examples also. I am singing, he is dancing, she is doing morning exercises, she is washing her hair. What do all these uh, activities have in common? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos en común con todas estas eh, oraciones que acabamos de ver? Aquí tenemos algo muy importante que quiero que tengan en cuenta. Y es que tenemos el verbo to be por un lado y tenemos al verbo dividido en dos. Entonces, el verbo principal sería, en este caso, como ven en estas imágenes, write, listen, watch. Pero el verbo tiene algo más agregado. What is this thing that is uh, there after the verb? Mm, yes, ing. So, To conform the present continuous, you have to take into account that. So we said the personal pronoun, he. Then we say the verb to be, is or are, depending on the personal pronoun. And then we have the verb with ing at the end. He is riding his bike. She is listening to music. They are watching TV. Siempre vamos a colocar el pronombre. El verbo to be que corresponde a la persona de la cual estamos hablando. Recuerden que para tercera persona es is en verbo to be. Y tenemos también el verbo principal. Y al final del verbo principal siempre hay un ing. ¿vale? Ahí estamos utilizando lo que es el ando, endo, que es en español. He is riding his bike. Él está conduciendo su bicicleta. She is listening to music. Ella está escuchando música. They are watching TV. Ellos están mirando televisión. Yeah. So, this is the topic that we are going to work in this week. So, see you in classes and hmm, let me know what are you doing, guys. <laughs> bye, bye. Love you.